Myself, Amir Unisa, working as an assistant professor in Sir C. R. Eddy College, Elur. So today I am going to <coughs> today I am going to discuss about R programming language. Nothing but basics of R programming language. So coming to basics of R programming language, first of all we will see about history and overview of R. History and overview of R. So R was created by Ross Ihaka and Robert Robert Gentleman. So first of all, we'll see what is R. So R is a programming language and a software environment. So R is a programming language and also software environment. Why it is used? Why R is used means <coughs> for the purpose of statistical analysis statistical analysis graphical representation graphical representation and also reporting reporting so here how you are going to use R and why where you are going to use R for the purpose of statistical an uh, analysis you are going to use R and where who is going to use this R is researchers researchers of diverse discipline diverse disciplines and also teachers of statistics are going to use this R okay so next how you are going to use what is the path to use this R by installing R and R studio you are going to use the R programming language so to install R and R studio For installing R, you are going to download download the software from this link and for R Studio, rstudio.com. So directly you can go to this website and download the software and install this software by following the steps like next, next, next. So this R is a open source open source programming language means anyone can use this programming language. Next <coughs> if we see about features of R so it is well developed well developed first one is well developed and here it is simple and effective next is it provides that is r provides suit of operators for calculations provides suit of operators for calculations and also it provides graphical facilities graphical graphical facilities graphical facilities for data analysis and 
this report can be either it may be it may be displayed on computer directly or or we can take the printouts in a paper print in a paper so here if we go to installation after the installation there is an interface R Studio. It is an interface to use the R programming language. So in this interface, after the installation, you are going to get four different parts in this R Studio. So these four parts are: first one is R Console. Second one is R Script. Third one is R environment and the last one is graphics graphics so here in our console you are going to write the code write the code and also you can see the output in our console coming to our script you are going to write the code but bulk of code you can write here and execute execute by selecting these bulk of code at a time bulk of code at a time by selecting this bulk of code at a time you can execute by clicking by clicking run tab in the window or you can press control plus enter control plus enter to execute the code next one is coming to our environment so it displays what all external elements are present it our environment displays what all the external elements are there right next is graphical graphical is it displays graphical output graphical output and you can see the packages so in the next class we are going to see about our nuts and bolts thank you everyone